Hi, welcome to Brian Demos. My name is Brian. I play demos, and that's why we call the show Brian Demos. Um, today we are going to be playing a demo that's been out for a long time. Um, I played it over a year ago for a game called Journey, and I thought that this game looked really pretty, um, and I came super close to buying it. Uh, I think at the time it cost $15, um, and it almost got to my threshold where that would have been worthwhile, but not quite. Um, yeah, I'm pretty tight with my money. So, um, but we're going to play through it again so you can watch it. I think that it's a really nice looking game uh, with very simple controls that work, would work well for just about anybody. While we play it, we're also going to talk a little bit more about me so you can get to know me better. But we're going to start a new journey here. And take a look. So Journey takes place on this desert planet. And from what I was able to ascertain from playing the demo, it does not seem like this is Earth, although it could be Earth post-apocalyptic or pre-human, I guess. I'm not really sure. But um, you would think that, you know, a desert, there's not going to be a whole lot of... Um, nice landscapes or anything to look at, but it really just blew me away with uh, what they put into this game. And I think it will for you as well. Oh look, falling star, when you wish upon a star, it doesn't matter where you are. Or something like that. I don't know exactly how that goes. I feel like this is a little loud, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. Because I would hate for you to miss my wonderful commentary as we go through this game. So this uses the six axis of the controller to kind of look around your environment, tilt the controller one way or the other, and are you done doing that? Yeah, okay, so you want me to tilt it this way. Okay, yeah, good. And it uses the left stick to walk, so I'm going to walk over here to the start area, which I just happen to know since I've done this demo before. Uh, while we do this, talk a little bit more about me and my gaming history. Uh, my first console, like so many people my age, was an NES that I got for Christmas when I was six, seven, something like that. Um, I played lots of Super Mario Brothers. Um, I played a lot of Legend of Zelda uh, Adventures of Link, the second Zelda game. Did not play the first Zelda game, not sure how I missed out on that. Um, but I played lots of those games, and I had a couple of other games that I played a lot as well. Um, and then after the NES, um, the next choice was between SNES or Sega and I'm not really sure how the decision was made, but uh, ended up deciding to go with Sega. So then I became like a Sonic the Hedgehog person and uh, played a lot of Vector Man. That was a great game on the Genesis, which anybody should check out. Um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, fantastic. So we're just going to walk to this beacon of light here. From what I've gathered, it seems like the main quest is to get up to that mountaintop with the shininess on top of it. But, uh, of course, you don't get there in the demo because then what would be the point of paying $15? So, um, to begin with, all you have is the uh, left stick for walking around. These little paper things, whatever they are, start giving you more controls. Um, I think this is going to allow me to jump, which will be very exciting. Ooh, so pretty. So press and hold X. Oh look, I can fly. And then they recharge me and I can fly again. 
And it's a continuous cycle. They keep recharging me. I keep being able to fly. All right, so let's head off to our next point here. So yeah, Genesis. Um, awesome game. If you've ever played it on Genesis, is um, oh shoot, I don't remember what it's called. It was like Mutant Bowl or something like that. It's one of those sports games which I was never super good at, but this particular sports game is um, played on post-apocalyptic Earth by mutants playing football, and besides all of the standard sports terminology, you know, Hail Marys and all of that, the things that I can't talk about unless I'm going to embarrass myself. Um, so besides those, there's also different ways to cheat where you can replace the football with um, a bomb, for example, and then the defense takes the football from you and promptly explodes and that player gets removed from the game. Um, and you can bribe the judges, or they're not judges, I apologize to anybody that likes football. Um, you can bribe the refs, that's I guess what they're called, referees, yeah? Umpires, that's baseball, I think. So you can bribe the officials, whatever their name is, can't get up on that um, and have them make false penalty calls on your opponents or look the other way when you make the ball explode stuff like that um, okay so I have to come back over here and get these ones because all of the other paper thingies are trapped still so here we go we'll get up on top of it so that you can there we go. So apparently you can jump even if you just have one, which is good to know. So let's get up here and see what happens when we go this way. So that was a lot of fun. I played that a lot at some friends' houses when I would go over there. And... Not sure what's happening here. It wants me to hold the circle button, but it's doing something when I just walk around. It probably would have done it faster if I pressed circle, but I wanted to do it the hard way. Um, so yeah, after that, I became a hardcore Sony person. Have only had Sony products since then. So after the Genesis, I had a uh, PlayStation, and then I moved to PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 now, um, which I like because the PlayStation Store gives demos for everything, um, which is awesome. It allows me to... Oh, no, not going to make it. Yes, I did. So what happens when you come over here? I don't think I've done this before. Looks like my tail thingy got longer. Okay. I think that makes it to where I can jump farther, which is cool. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, PlayStation originally uh, really started getting into fighting games at that point. I played Mortal Kombat on Genesis, but you know, back then fighting games just weren't what they are today. Um, PlayStation allowed me to play um, like Tekken and Soul Blade and later on Soul Calibur um, and Battle Arena Toshinden. And those games had just much, much better graphics and excellence and, ooh, a cutscene. So let me be quiet for a little bit. And let's take a look at this cutscene where we find out more in the background. Who are you? So yes, there's the mountain in the distance. That's where I want to go, I guess. So what I'm getting from this is that the light in the mountain is what created agriculture and civilization on this planet, which that's the way I interpret those 
cave paintings or whatever they are, but you know, I'm certainly no archaeologist, so don't take my word for it. Um, but those doors opened, which was awesome. Let's head through there. I want some more paper thingy so I can jump, because right now I can't. I can just walk. So yeah, I, uh, I played a lot of fighting games um, once I got to PlayStation. Uh, there was one PlayStation game that I really liked, and I don't remember what it is now, but it had um, mechs, and you would fly around and do battle in the mechs, and it was pretty cool. Um, so on the whole, that's pretty much my gaming experience on video game consoles. Also like a lot of tabletop gaming, I've played Dungeons & Dragons. Um, for years and years since I was in high school. Um, when I was in high school, I played Magic the Gathering. Oh, look, we're already at the end of our journey. Sad. Um, so, yeah, I played Magic the Gathering when I was in high school as well, and I like a lot of board games, too. Um, not kind of your standard tabletop games, like Life and Monopoly and whatever, but really get into the odd games that are fun to introduce new people to because they're like, what is this? So I enjoy Quelf and Guillotine and Zombie Dice and Munchkin. Um, get a big kick out of Ninja Burger. Um, games along those lines that they're just fun to introduce new people to, kind of get them going into it, and they're just not your standard get to the end of the board or get the most money kind of games. So anyways, that concludes our demo for today. Um, and I think you've learned enough about me for one day as well. So. Once again, this has been Brian Demos. We were demoing the game of Journey, which we'll go over to the PlayStation Store real quick and take a look. I think it was $15, though. So. Um, well, like I said, very pretty game. I thought it was really, really nice. So if you enjoyed it, too, maybe think about purchasing it. It definitely has me think about it whenever I play it, because I think it's really cool. Oh look, they've reduced it in price. It's down to ten forty nine. Well if you're a PlayStation Plus member you can get it for seven thirty four. Now that it's down close to ten dollars, I might just pick it up. Anyways, once again this has been Brian Demos. Thank you again for watching, if anyone is watching these.